Do you dream of that perfect winter coat? One that not only keeps you warm and looking stylish, but that also flatters your figure? Well, nowadays with the endless selection of styles available to us, finding the right one for your body shape can prove to be a daunting task. But the secret is actually quite simple, and it's knowing your body shape. <laughs> guys, I'm Bella and if you don't already know me, I am a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast and welcome to my channel Concept 3 where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to choose the best coat for your body type. The first shape we're going to talk about is the hourglass and the hourglass is super easy to recognize because the smallest point on the body is going to be the waist. And you can recognize this body shape on celebrities such as Kim Kardashian, Beyonce, and Sofia Vergara. The hourglass is characterized by having a curvy frame, proportionate shoulders and hips, and a very well-defined waist. Since this body shape is already quite balanced, you don't have to do too much when you're picking out winter coats. You always want to go with the rule of emphasizing the waist and not putting too much volume on the top or the bottom half. So some great styles to try can include single breasted coats and wrap coats with a belt. Some coats to definitely avoid are double breasted coats and shapeless straight coats because the double breasted coats are going to make your shoulders and chest look too broad and the shapeless coats are not going to emphasize your small waist. The next shape we have is the pear and this is also similar to the hourglass but they have more broad hips and more narrow shoulders. Some celebrities with this body type include Rihanna, America Ferrara, and Jennifer Lopez. The pair is characterized by a bottom heavy frame, hips that are wider than the shoulders, and a well-defined waist. Since a pair already has wide hips and narrow shoulders, the general aim is that you don't want to add too much volume to the bottom half. Instead, you want to add volume to the upper half. So some nice styles that you can try include double-breasted coats, and statement collars and hoods because what both of these are going to do, they're going to add volume and they're going to add width and dimension to your shoulder and your upper half of the body and it's going to therefore balance out with your wider hips and give you an overall balanced silhouette. Some coats to definitely avoid include single breasted coats and coats that are super flared around the hip area. So next we have the rectangle and these body shapes are pretty easy to recognize because they do not have a well-defined waist and they tend to be on the taller and more slender side. Some celebrities with this body type include Heidi Klum, Cameron Diaz, and Kate Middleton. The rectangle is characterized by a small and slender frame with proportionate shoulders and hips with little to no definition at the waist. Since this body shape is already quite straight and balanced, you want to add a little bit more dimension to the shoulders and the hip area while trying to draw in the waist a bit. So some flattering styles for you could really include straight and slightly fitted coats, coats with embellishments around the shoulders, bust, and hips. By adding all these elements, you're going to create more of an interesting detailing and you're going to make it seem like you have more of shoulders and hips and a waist. Some coats you want to avoid are super soft fabrics and details around the waistline. The next shape we have is the inverted triangle and this one is quite easy to spot because it looks like a triangle that's just flipped upside down. Some celebrities with this body type include Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, and Angelina Jolie. An inverted triangle is characterized by a sporty, top-heavy frame where the shoulders are wider than the hips and they do tend to have longer and more slender legs. So when trying to find a coat for an inverted triangle, you want to focus on adding volume to the bottom half of the body. So you want to focus on getting coats that add a little bit more interest and dimension to the lower half of your body. Some styles you can try include trapeze and princess coats and single breasted coats. Trapeze and princess coats flare out at the bottom and they create a little bit more width on the bottom half of the body and single breasted coats are going to make sure that your shoulders don't look wider. 
Some coats you definitely want to avoid are coats with very large shoulder pads because they add too much bulk to the upper half, oversized collars, and shoulder area embellishments. All three of these are going to add too much volume to your upper half and make your hips look even more narrow and smaller. So make sure to steer away from these three things. So we have finally reached the last body shape and that is the apple. Women with this figure tend to carry most of the weight in their tummy area, their chest area, and their upper thighs. Some notable celebrities. So we have finally reached the last body shape and that is the apple. Women with this figure tend to carry most of the weight in their tummy area, their chest area, and their upper thighs. Some notable celebrities with this body type include Catherine Zeta-Jones, Adele, and Drew Barrymore. The apple is characterized by having a curvy frame, a fuller midsection, and a waist that is not well defined. And when trying to find a coat for this body type, you really have to focus on de-emphasizing the midsection. So this being said, some great styles to try include A-line silhouettes, princess and trapeze coats. And all of these are going to de-emphasize the midsection area and that are going to add more volume and draw attention to the lower half of the body and draw attention more towards your legs. Some styles that you might want to avoid include coats with large shoulder pads and coats with detailing around the waist area. Coats with large shoulder pads are going to make you look more bulky on the upper half while details around the waist area are going to draw attention to your midsection and that's not exactly what, where you want to draw the attention. You so knowing your body shape is a critical part of choosing the right winter coat for your figure. And these are by no means set in stone rules that you have to follow. They are simply guidelines that will push you in the right direction of getting the right coat for you. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button so that I know you got value out of it. Also, if you haven't already booked your image consultation with me, make sure to go ahead and do that at concept3img.com. And there you can just book your slot with me and we will get in there and figure out what your image goals are. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos because I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday and I don't want you to miss anything. So this being said, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Rock, 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 rock,